In this video, I interview Alex and Elvira of Virix Bachata Project. They tell us about why they love to teach bachata so much. They also let us know why bachata has taken over the Latin dance scene. And they tell us whether dating is possible in the dancing. That's good. <laughs> Hello, my name is Edwin, and I'm the coordinator of the IE Social, taking place every third Saturday of the month at the Dance Center in Redlands. I'm here with Alex and Elvira of Virix Bachata Project. How are you guys today? Great. Great. How are you? Good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Actually, I've been very, very excited because we get to highlight a very important um, dance couple, bachata couple in the Inland Empire that put out a lot of work. They teach, they do just a little bit about everything. So, um, if you haven't already, please feel free to like and subscribe to our IE social page, either on Facebook or Instagram, or also on YouTube under IE social interviews. <laughs> so, one of the questions I love asking people, and I think it's one of the things that we all have in common, is how did you guys get started in dancing? So, Elvira, you first. Ladies first. Um, I started with salsa. I watched somebody dance at Sevilla, so I like how she danced, and that's what got me into salsa. Then I saw his hips moving oh. <laughs> to bachata, and yeah. I said I wanted to dance like him, and that's wow. pretty much... <laughs> How that's, my bachata career started. <laughs> Are you serious? So literally from day one, like very early on in your entire dance co um, career or experience, you you guys have connected. Oh yeah, I want to say so. Yeah. Wow, very very. But it was cool. very friendly. It oh, was very, first very was friendly. friendly. Okay. Yes. Everything starts off with being friends. Folks. <laughs> okay. Cool. I was professional. You were professional. Okay. <laughs> How about yourself, Alex? Let us know. Um, same. I started uh, dancing salsa. Okay. And um, it was a friend of mine who introduced me. He'd been dancing salsa for about five years. Okay. And uh, took me out to Granada. Okay. And uh, and I saw it. I liked it. And uh, as soon as I got home, I looked up classes where I lived, and boom, I started. I took classes. Really cool. And, um, yeah, the studio. That's where we met. Really, yeah, really that's cool. Studio we danced in. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your guys' background as far as who you've worked under or who you're currently working under. I know you shared with me that you're recently starting on a new dance um, project or with a dance team. Tell us, you know, who you've learned from, all that. Who are your inspirations? Um, my inspiration at the beginning was Georgette Alcocer. Wow. Okay. Um, because of her footwork, I was fascinated by her. Very frustrated when I first took her class, by the way, yeah. and I wanted to run out of there yeah. crying. It was at the one of the bachata festivals in LA, uh -huh. and after that, I just loved the traditional dancing. I like yeah. Carlos Cinta, Corsa Miel Magico. Um, uh -huh. That's just to say a few. Okay. Yeah. Really, really cool. Yeah. How about yourself, Alex? Uh, wow, there's a lot. There's yeah. a lot, a lot of influences. Uh, my dance training in terms of just Latin dancing started, of course, at EV Dance Studio. That's okay. where I learned my basics and my basic salsa and bachata. Really cool. Um, and then uh, a couple of years after I started, I started dancing, I, I joined a Querico Dance Company. Okay, Querico. Uh, under George Contreras and uh, Demetrio Rosario. Awesome. So I was with them for about three years. So I'll, I'm, big part of my training came from that, especially because they did exclusively bachata. Okay. Um, right now, I also dance um, and train under uh, Aubrey Ares and Miguel Vilchis. Really the cool. MPC dance company. Very cool. So um, that's, you know, a bit of where I started. As far as my influences, there's, uh, there's um, of course, Contreras and Demetrio, uh -huh. DJ So Nasty. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I have, um, I'm, I'm a big traditional fan. We, we both are traditional uh, bachata. Yes. So we have the giants, Carlos Cinta, Edwin Ferreira, all those guys, I follow those guys, and um, they're a big part of my growth. Yes. And who I train. Yeah. Yes. Okay, tell me some more about this affinity that you guys have about traditional bachata. I, I, I notice that whenever I see you guys at a club or a social, once that traditional bachata song comes out, you can guarantee these two people are gonna get out there and like slam the dance floor. So tell me about your love about that. What is it about the traditional footwork or, or vibe that you guys particularly love? Um, I personally like the vibe. It's very okay. mature. Um, 
we're you know we're in the older stages where you know dancing should not be for us and it's should okay. be a little more decent. Yeah. Um, we love the footwork. Yeah. I love the hip movements and um, just the connection that you get with someone that feels you while you're dancing traditional as well. It's a different feeling than when you're dancing other types of music. Yeah. Um, at least for myself. I don't okay. know how you, how you okay. feel about that. Um, for me, um, um, I was born and raised in Africa, in Kenya. That's where I'm yeah. from. And okay. um, there's a lot of the rhythms in traditional bachata that are very similar to the music really? where I'm from. So wow. I identified with it immediately. Um, the movement, um, the subtlety of it. Um, there's a lot of nuanced things that happen with the traditional dancing that I really don't have to express myself in a very, it's my style, it's my nature. I'm kind of reserved in okay. terms of expressing, my, expressing myself. And, and that style of dancing is not so showy. We do that yes. with, with our team, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah the show, it, it's more very subtle uh, and the rhythms and the, the instruments, all that mm -hmm. stuff, the musical part of it is what really interests me and that's what I love about it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I really love the footwork, like yourself, when I've taken you know workshops, uh, Dominican Bachata workshops, the footwork is, I have a love-hate thing for it. The syncopations behind it, I'm awful at syncopations but I try my very best. So for those of you who love traditional bachata, I encourage you to keep going. Reach out to Alex and Elvira because they really do love it and like it's just awesome seeing them cut it up on the dance floor. Okay, so with that, we'll go to the next question. Uh, is it possible to date in the dance? Actually, before we go there, let us know how long you guys have been dating. Three years. Three years. Three years? Right? Three years? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever you say, baby. <laughs> there, there you go. Whatever you say, baby. That's a smart man right there. Um, so about three years? Three years. Okay. My next question is, is it possible, well, you guys have shown that it's possible to find love in the dance scene, but can you give us some tips? Because, you know, there's some people that are like, nope, I don't want to date anybody in the dance scene. There's some people that are like, I have to find somebody in the dancing because they have to love dance just as much as me. So why has this worked? Give us some tips. Tell us when it hasn't worked. What are probably some things that you would advise people not to do or something, you know? Um, it definitely works. It works okay. for us. Um, we enjoy going out with each other, which works out a lot better. Um, I have a lot more fun when he's with me. Um, I just enjoy myself more. Um, it definitely um, has to do with um, trust. You have to trust your partner and he has to know where you're going, what you're doing, and of course you have to give respect and respect yourself and respect your partner when you're not dancing with him. Makes sense. Okay. Respect, yeah. Respect. Respect on the dance floor. Respect your partner. I love that. Thank you for that tip. That's actually very, very important. Alex, how about yourself? Um, it, it is. It's, um, it's, um, it's different. It's challenging, especially a lot of us coming to the dance scene, we're single. And um, we're, used, we're used to doing things the way we want, when we want, how we want. So when you integrate somebody else in your life, um, you gotta ask your questions, is it worth it? Once you get that, you know, once you know that person and you figure out, okay, it's worth having this person in my life, um, then you gotta think about how to make this work because there's, there has to be communication there. So just yeah. like she said, some of this stuff I had to learn from her. Okay. Um, the respect thing, okay? Something yeah. you might not think is disrespectful to you might not be seen that way by somebody else and vice versa. So when you get to a point where you listen to what your partner is telling you, if you, you, know, if you really feel like you want to be in a relationship with a person, you got to listen to what they're telling you. Yes. So when that happens, you have to really pay attention to what they're telling you in terms of um, how things come across. Another thing that she did that was really, really important yeah. was um, she let me know everything. So if if... She went on the dance floor, and I wasn't even looking. And somebody tried to, you know, be frisky. Yeah. She would let me know. She would let me know. This okay. is what happened, and I, I don't like that. And I have seen her time and time again put people in their place. So nice. what that does is it, it builds a level of trust. Yes. It builds a level of trust. And once you get that, you want to reciprocate it. Um, the only thing I would say is... Um, the person that you envision that you want in your life in terms of a partner, be that person. Wow. You be that person first. And then um, the rest is easy. So um, the relationship part, she knew 
what she was doing in terms of the relationship part. So I learned a lot. But I was one of those guys who was like, I, I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. This is how I dance and what you know. But yeah, I learned. And it's, wow. it's once you figure out that the person is worth it, then you're gonna make the right adjustments to kind of make yeah. it work. Yeah, it's a compromise, so you have to do that. Love it. So I'm pretty much ready to sign up for like some therapy <laughs> classes with these two because this is probably something that I could learn from, trust, respect, you know, being very honest with your partner. So thank you so much for sharing those insights. Really, really good insights. I highly suggest for those people looking into dating in the dancing or you guys are together, rewind to when this starts and take some notes on that because okay? <laughs> that's some really good advice. Okay, so we see we see what's going on in the Latin dancing. They're, they're, you see it more and more and that is bachata rooms are getting bigger, right? People are demanding more bachata and salsa rooms are probably either staying the same or in some socials they're even getting smaller in some clubs you're, they're even getting smaller earlier you did let me know when you had first gone to stevens you know that sort of thing tell me why do you think bachata is taking over the latin dancing um i personally think bachata is taking over because it's it's a generation thing, I okay. want to say. The younger people like all the sensual stuff, mm -hmm. um, the closeness. You have all the good-looking girls, the good-looking guys coming in. It's just, that's what I think it is. It's the people that's coming in. Okay. Um, you see a fresh face, and they're dancing, and if they're doing a good job, you, you want to dance with them as well. I, but Chata is very fun. It's a lot, a lot of fun. It's not so technical like um, salsa or... Um, I don't know, cumbia, yeah. banda, all that stuff for me, it's very technical. Yes. And, and bachata, you, you lose, you're, it's, it's very fun to, to listen to, to dance to, and just the vibe, it's really good. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. How about yourself, Alex? Um, yeah, I agree with uh, what you were saying. Uh -huh. um, uh, part of it also is not, it may seem, I think uh, relative to each other, it may seem that salsa is getting smaller, but I think what has happened is, um, salsa hasn't gotten small, it's just bachata has gotten way bigger. Ah, and okay. I, I think that's just a part of the evolution of the dance. Um, there's so many things about bachata that make it fun. So, um, first of all, there's uh, just the dancing aspect. We all know how that feels, um, whether with salsa or bachata. But uh, what we've noticed, when I started dancing, what I noticed, like what I was mentioning to you, I used to go to Steven's Steakhouse, one of the first places I started dancing. Yeah. Sundays was just Stevens was just the salsa mecca, you know? Yeah. Some really good dancers. You could go there and just not just watch all night people mm -hmm. dancing. And that was, it's a pretty big dance floor. And the whole dance floor was just salsa. Wow. But now we've seen where uh, Stevens, at least, bachata is kind of, it's like half and half. It's taken over like half the dance floor. Yeah. So uh, part of the reason for that, I think, is, is the elements of bachata. I mean, it's so much fun to dance. And then you have the new generation coming in who kind of lend themselves to that um, uh, freeness that, that's in bachata, for lack of a better word. Um, it allows them to grow and evolve. And then there's, you're seeing a lot of other things coming in, zucchata, you know, a, yes. a lot of other different styles. So it lends itself to evolution more so than salsa does. Not to say that there's no creativity in salsa, but salsa has very rudimentary and very um, strict rules that are kind of followed. Bachata has kind of evolved. We all had the arguments about the sensual versus traditional, yeah. bachata, all that stuff. So there's a lot of different things happening, which means there's a lot more people uh, who have things they could do within bachata. And I think that's part of the reason why it's growing. Really cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for that insight. We're going to go ahead and jump into what normally would be the lightning round. But this interview, we're going to go ahead and do the very first Dame tu bachata dating game. So right now we're gonna split them up. We're gonna see how well they know each other and then we're gonna bring them back together and see how they did on those responses. Cool? Yeah. All right. So we're back with Elvira and we're gonna go ahead and ask her some questions about how she does things and then after we're gonna go ahead and ask Alex those very same questions. At the end, we're going to compare, see how they do. So stay tuned for that. Again, this is the very first Dame Tu Bachata dating game show. Here are the IE Social interview. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share this video if you think it's funny. If you don't think it's funny, hey, leave a <laughs> comment below. Tell me what, what we need to do to make it better for you, all right? All right, very first question, Elvira. Yeah. Who is the better dancer? Who would you say is the better dancer? Yourself? Or Alex? Chata? Yeah. 
Wow. Go ahead and show. Her. Her lovey dovey. Your lovey dovey. Okay, so Alex is a better dancer. Who would your friend say is the better dancers? You know, your friends see you guys dancing, and then they're like, oh, Alex dances better. Or Elvira dances better. Wow. Well, it depends. The girls like how he dances, and the guys love how he dances. Okay. But I'm gonna say that everyone loves how he dances. All right. It's the booty. Oh, it's the booty. All right. Shout out to Alex and the booty. <laughs> the African booty. <laughs> the African Kenyan booty. Um, who? What is his favorite bachata song to dance to? Okay. Give me an artist, not a song. Who's that? Anthony Santos. Anthony Santos. Awesome. All right. Who liked who first? Did you like him first, or did he like you first? <laughs> we're probably gonna break up for this. Oh, you're okay. gonna break up? Yeah, we're gonna break up. But I want to say Alex liked me first. All right. He did nice. Who takes longer to go out? Like, who gets? Who does it take very long to get ready? Is it, you know, usually it's the girls here, but on occasion you'll see guys take long. Not that much of a difference because I don't take long, but I'm gonna say it's me. Okay. And Vito takes longer. All right, Dominican bachata. Would he say it's okay to do body rolls in Dominican bachata, or would he say no? Dominican bachata does not have body rolls. Can you tell us what you wrote? Absolutely not. Okay, no body rolls in Dominican bachata. It doesn't call for it. All right. <laughs> How about Dominican bachata um, hair whips? You know, you see that a lot in the in the zook in the urban central bachata. In Dominican bachata, would you say that it's okay to do hair whips or not? All right. It's okay, nothing crazy. It's okay. All right. Um, what is the very, very last thing that he does when he goes to sleep? He sets the alarm to make sure he gets up in the morning. Awesome. All right, so we're done with these questions. Thank you so much, Elvira. We're gonna go ahead and bring Alex, and let's see how he does. In a little bit, we're gonna compare notes. All right, okay. Okay, we're here back with Alex. We're gonna go ahead and ask him the same questions that we asked Elvira, and let's see what his responses are. So, Alex, who is the better dancer, yourself or Elvira? So who? Elvira. Elvira, okay. Who would your friend say is the better dancer, Alex or Elvira? Elvira. Okay, Elvira. What is Elvira's favorite bachata song to dance to? Probably Voy Paya. Voy Paya? Yeah. Who liked who first? Did Alex like Elvira first? Or did Elvira like Alex first? Oh, she loved me. She loved you first. Okay, she just saw you and she was spitting, right? She loved me, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so who takes longer to get ready when you guys are gonna go out? Do you take longer or does she take longer? Mm. Uh, she does. She does? Yes. Okay. So she takes longer. Okay, when it comes to Dominican bachata, is body rolls okay or are they not okay in Dominican bachata? Bachata is bachata, so I would say yes, but don't do that now, just play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're fine. It's fine. It's bachata. To me, bachata is bachata. If that's the way you express yourself, that's totally All good. right. If that's the way you express yourself, I like that answer. Cool. Again, Dominican bachata. You see a lot of hair whips going on now in the different styles of bachata. Are hair whips okay in Dominican bachata? My answer is gonna be the same for all of these. Yeah. So yeah, because it's bachata, and I, to me, it's it's a way of expressing yourself. So um, I, I'll say yes, yes. Okay. I'll say yes. Timing has gotta be right. <laughs> Timing has gotta be right. <laughs> and the song has to, you know, be telling you. The music has to be lending that. You know, has to be telling you to do that for you okay. to do that. But I would say yes, yes. Okay. So yes. Last thing Elvira does before she goes to sleep. Pajamas, change into pajamas. Change into pajamas, okay. Thank you so much, Alex, for participating. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and bring you guys back together and let's see how they do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back with Alex and Elvira. Let's see how they go, ahead. let's see how they did and we're gonna go ahead and compare the answers. Hopefully we don't start any fights because of this. Wish us luck here, okay? All right. Peace, you already, it's gonna be good today? Let's Everything go. good? All right. So, the very first question was, who is the better dancer, 
Okay, so what do you think Alex said? Who is the better dancer? He's too nice, so he probably said. Oh, no. Okay, he, he said you. Okay, is it true though? No. <laughs> 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 so, who did you put down, Alex? All right. So he got oh, there you go. He's a good man. All right. Who did um who do you think um Elvira said is the better dancer? She probably says me because she says it all the time. Okay. How about let's go and take a look. Oh, you want to Wow. So far one for one. Good job. All right. Let's go ahead and throw those out. Yeah, there you go. Second question. Who will your friend say is the better dancer. So, Elvira, what do you think Alex said? He's gonna be nice again and say that it's me. Okay, okay. So, Alex, what did you say? <laughs> so, again, Elvira, good job. Alex, what do you think Elvira said? Oh, she's gonna say me again. She All right. Says it. Cool. Dang, these people are, they're like synced up here. So far, two for two. Go ahead and throw those out. All right. What is, there you go. See a little, <laughs> this, this is what you guys got to do, people. Take notes, all right? <laughs> this is teamwork stuff, okay? okay. All right. <laughs> See, I was right. I'm like, wait. <laughs> Here's a question that always gets into trouble. Wish us luck here. Elvira, who liked who first? Alejandro liked me first. So Alex liked it. Alex, let us know the truth here, buddy. Come on, be honest. She don't love me. She don't love you first. Let's go ahead and see the, the answer. Elvira liked Alex first. Okay. Alex, who liked who first? Who would you say she responded? I would say she said that she liked me first. Uh-oh. Okay, Alex liked Elvira first. See, we're, we're going down here, downhill here. So we were two for two at first, and now we're two for four. So that's okay, that's okay. It's all good. So good. It's all good. As long as there's peace after this, we're good. <laughs> okay. Who takes longer to get ready to go out, Elvira? What is he gonna say? Me. Okay. Yeah. So what did you put down, sir? Bam. Elvira, good. <laughs> we're good on that one. Alex, who, who takes longer to get to go out? To get ready to go out? She's gonna say she does. She does? She knows, huh? She already knows. Cool. Makeup and everything. Makeup and everything. A good what? Two hours? No, one hour? Because no. she's quick with it. Oh, she's quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I told her to take long. Yeah. Good job. Get you somebody who's quick with it, folks. <laughs> In Dominican bachata, are body rolls allowed, Elvira? It's a yes or no, right? Yeah, it's a yes or no. Not a baby. <laughs> or sometimes I'm gonna say no. No. Okay. What do you think? I went philosophical on this one. Yeah. So I said I said yes. So it's bachata. <laughs> Absolutely not. And yes. In Dominican bachata, are hair whips okay? <laughs> yes and okay. All right. Cool. So that we got a, we that's got a some yes, consensus. Right? Yeah. Yes. That's a yes. <laughs> okay. So, Alex, what is the very last thing that you do before you go to bed? You strip. Okay, he strips. All right. Hey, he's keeping it real here. Elvira, what what is the actual last thing he does? Strip. He doesn't strip. Yeah. Yeah, because she makes me set the alarm. Okay. She so sets the alarm. Elvira, what is the last thing that you do before you go to bed? Strip. You strip. Okay. All right, strip. Kind of. Kind of. Okay. What about pajamas. Bam. Boom. Put your pajamas. There you go. Pajamas. Good job. So what do we get? Like four out of eight. Not too bad. Yes. Fifty fifty odds. The rest is just compromise and you know clearing up misunderstandings. <laughs>a lot of fun. Tell me about your upcoming projects or what things you guys are currently involved with right now. Um, we are on our second season of Vitex Pachata Project, wow. Generation 2 and Eminence. So look out for us. We're going to be performing at the Ice Social in late summer. Awesome. Um, and then of course we're doing our own things on the side. Mm -hmm. And what do you want to do? Uh, we teach bachata at Evie Dance Studio in Pomona every Monday, uh, 8.15 to 9.30. We like to focus on the basics, the fundamentals, that's, that's our thing. We want to bring up the level 
called Bachata in the Inland Empire. So that's why we're really happy about what Edwin is doing with the IE Social. Thank we you. love it because it gives us a venue for us to grow within the IE. Um, and of course, what Vida said um, about Vida Bachata Project, second season again. It's all about bringing the level of dancing up in the Inland Empire. Yes, and if you're in the Pomona area, please make sure to check out EV Dance Studio. It's a very beautiful studio, great dance floor, nice mirrors, and you got two really great instructors along with, of course, the EV Dance Studio, studio team. So how can people connect with you guys? Like, let's just say if they, they want to find you guys and take classes from you guys, what's the best way to get connected with you folks? Uh, mostly through Facebook, um, okay. Elvira.Soltero, like single man, soltero. Mm -hmm. um, Facebook and yours is Alex. Alex Alomwangi. A A L E X A L O M W. That <laughs> one is going to need like a little. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put that one for you here, That's folks. Right. All right. Also through EV Dance Studio, she has also her own page or through Facebook. Awesome. Awesome. So if you guys haven't already, please make sure to go ahead and slam that like button. If you like this interview, go ahead and share it with other people. Again, check out the IE social page at either on Facebook or Instagram. You can also find us on Facebook. Thank you so much, Alex and Elvira. You guys were awesome. And I appreciate everything that you guys do as far as teaching the Inland Empire dance community. I mean, you guys are like so well versed and taught by so many different people as you guys mentioned earlier. Um, so thank you guys to them. Please go ahead and comment below if there's anything you like about this video or if there's something you don't like about this video or if you have any questions for us. Connect with them, take their classes, support IE Social events, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you. IE Social.